हेलो एवरी वन सो लेट सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इट सेज फॉर्म पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन बाय एलिमिनेटिंग आर्बिट्री कॉन्स्टेंट सो वी हैव टू फॉर्म पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन बाय दिस इक्वेशन एंड वी हैव टू एलिमिनेट आर्बिट्री कॉन्स्टेंट सो एज यू कैन सी ए एंड बी आर हेयर आर्बिट्री कॉन्स्टेंट सो वी नीड टू एनी हाउ एलिमिनेट दैम हाउ कैन वी डू दैट uh if i let this as equation number 1 then uh, what i can do i can differentiate this par this equation number 1 partially first with respect to x so i will say differentiate equation number 1 partially with respect to x now when i say i am differentiating it partially i don't further need to write that taking y as a constant because that is understood uh, that when uh, whenever you are uh, differentiating partially with respect to x y will obviously be treated as a constant so this will be del z by del x equals to now because this is in product and i will have to Uh, treat y as a constant and b is obviously a constant so this will remain as it is okay and in this bracket if you look at this uh you can treat this thing uh same as 2 times x so x i have to differentiate or for, uh, further you can say this 2 times x plus a so 2 will remain as it is same for y plus b y plus b as it is and i will differentiate x plus a where also a is a constant so derivative of a will be 0 and derivative of x is 1 same is happening here also y plus b constant now when coming to x plus a bracket derivative of x with respect to x 1 and derivative of a with respect to x a is anyway constant so that is going to be zero. and uh, if you want you can replace del z by del x by p and del z by del y by q now it uh, depends completely on you if you want to replace this or not you can uh, leave it in terms of del z by del x also but uh, in some textbook you see this written as p so p equals to y plus b so this becomes your equation number 2 similarly i will do the same process but differently differentiate equation number 1 partially but this time with respect to y so when i say with respect to y i will treat x as a constant so del z by del y will become now this will tre be treated as constant so this will remain as it is and when coming to this bracket derivative of y with respect to y that is 1 derivative of b anyway because that is a constant so its derivative is zero del z by del y as i told you can replace that by q so q equals to x plus a so this becomes your equation number 3 now you have got uh, two equations now as you can see you have x plus a in the initial equation which i can replace by q or del z by del y whichever you prefer and i also have y plus b which can be replaced by p or del z by del x whichever you prefer so if i say put equation put a uh, values of x plus a and y plus b from equation number 3 of uh, uh, from equation number 3 and 2 in one i am writing everything uh, descriptively so that uh, you can do the same in examinations now 
if I put from 3 and 2 in 1, so this will become z equals to, in place of x plus a, I can write q or del z by del y, whichever you prefer. So q and in place of y plus b, I can write p. So z equals to q p is what we are getting. So this becomes uh, your final partial differential equation you can would have also written as what is your q q was del z by del y and what is your p your p is del z by del x now because these terms are in multiplication so this is this is non linear partial differential equation because in you know that the condition for nonlinear is you should not have terms like z square you should not have terms like del z by del x multiplied by del z by del y or uh, things like that and you should not have uh, del z by del x or del z by del y whole square or terms like that so this types of entity should not be present here if you see del z by del y and del z by del x are in multiplication which ensures that this is not a linear partial differential equation so this is a non-linear partial differential equation this was an extra discussion our aim was just to find a partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constant what was the arbitrary constant it was a and b so we successfully eliminated it and uh, we got up a uh, partial differential equation. So I hope you understood something from this question. Thanks and have a very nice day.